Manchester United star fed up with Ten Hag, already offered services to European club. Manchester United star Alejandro Garnacho has reportedly offered his services to Barcelona. Spanish press claims the talented forward is growing dissatisfied with life under Eric Ten Hag. Before we dive any further into the story, which Football 365 has relayed, it is worth remembering that we are in the middle of an international crisis. You will find media outlets exaggerate a little more because there is less club football to write about. However, there is never a shortage of stories regarding Manchester United. The Reds have endured a difficult start to the season, winning just two of their opening seven Premier League matches and drawing their first two games in the Europa League. This form has put Ten Hag under immense pressure to keep his job at Old Trafford. United executives met on Tuesday in London but nothing definite was decided on the manager, who may get more time to prove himself in the big seat. Reports from Spain suggest Garnacho is among several United players who are dissatisfied with the situation at Old Trafford. It is understood that Garnacho, who pulled out of Argentine squad with a knee injury, is fed up with Ten Hag and has already offered himself to Barcelona. Garnacho is said to be unhappy at being overlooked for starting lineups or when he is removed from the field of play. It doesn't add up that he would be sad about this, given he has been carrying a knee injury. At 20 years old, Garnacho still has a lot to learn in his game, but I'm not buying into reports that he wants out. The Sun recently suggested that Barcelona and Juventus were interested in signing Garnacho, but that isn't a surprise because I reckon most of the big clubs in the world would come knocking if he was available. The fact he is spending the international break at Carrington is a positive. It gives him time to recover with the coaches at United and they can keep a close eye on his progress. Former Manchester United manager claims Eric Ten Hag deserves credit. Former Manchester United manager David Moyes has backed Eric Ten Hag to succeed at Old Trafford, despite the Dutchman facing fierce scrutiny as he clings onto his job. Moyes, who landed a new job as a technical observer for UEFA last month, was the first manager to take the job following Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement in 2013. The Scot left West Ham at the end of last season. After a poor start to the 2013-14 season, Moyes was sacked just six months after becoming United manager, so he knows a thing or two about the pressure that comes with the job. United have gone on to hire multiple managers but have not won a Premier League title since Ferguson stood down from the role. It's a challenge Ten Hag welcomed over two years ago, but dire results in his third season raised further questions about his suitability for the job. Speaking to BBC Sport about Ten Hag, Moyes said via The Sun, I think he's doing a brilliant job. I think he's shown brilliant resilience in the situation that he's in and I think he should be credited for how well he's conducted himself. As far as I know, I don't see him ducking any questions or any media interviews that you people, the media, put forward to him. I think you have to give him great credit for that but it's a job that is going to attract immense pressure, people talking, so I have to say that I think he's doing a brilliant job. Criticism is nothing new for Ten Hag despite winning a Carabao Cup and FA Cup in his first two seasons at Old Trafford. Moyes, on the other hand, delivered no trophies during his short reign at United. Some will argue he deserved more time but the same could be said for some of the managers that followed him. After Moyes, Louis van Gaal came in and won the FA Cup before getting sacked. Jose Mourinho replaced the Dutchman before delivering the Carabao Cup and Europa League. United were unlucky not to win a second Europa League under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who, like Moyes, was unable to win any trophies at United. Former Manchester United flop could have Corinthians contract terminated one month after joining. Former Manchester United forward Memphis Depay could leave Corinthians after just one month. Remember Memphis Depay? Most of you probably want to forget about his spell at Manchester United between 2015 and 2017. Signed by Louis van Gaal from PSV Eindhoven, Depay arrived at Old Trafford with high expectations after shining in the Eredivisie. The forward made 53 appearances for United, scoring 7 goals and registering 5 assists, before being sold to Lyon where he rebuilt his career. Four years in France led to a switch to Barcelona and, after two seasons, he joined Atletico Madrid in 2023. 
The Netherlands International joined Corinthians in September, after leaving Atletico Madrid in the summer. Depay, 30, signed a two-year contract with the Brazilian outfit but he could see his time at the club come to a premature end due to doubts over his salary. The problem stems from his pay coming from one of Corinthians' sponsors. Betting firm Esports de Sort has been denied a state license, which would make their funding uncertain. At the beginning of last September, the CEO of Esports de Sort, Darwin Filio, turned himself in to the civil police of Pernambuco, alongside his wife, amid money laundering investigations. This, in turn, creates problems for Corinthians because they won't be able to afford Depay's apparent salary of £9 million per year. Since joining the club, Depay has played four matches with two assists to show for it. Esports released the following statement via The Sun, the Esports de Sort Group has operating authorization confirmed and validated by Loderge and, therefore, obtains approval from the authority to operate for an initial period of 0.5.5 years. In addition, it is seeking the SPA-MF license and awaits, in the coming days, the granting of another license after an administrative appeal, given strict compliance with all legal and regulatory procedures established by legislation and its respective ordinances. Grupo Esports de Sort reinforces its commitment to regulating the sector and responsible gaming, supporting a legal and reputable market, aiming to protect the interests of bettors and striving for a serious and transparent industry. Pundit gives verdict on Manchester United managerial candidate. Former Premier League striker turned pundit Darren Bent believes Thomas Tuchel is a far better manager than Eric Ten Hag, but has issued a warning to Manchester United after being linked with the German coach. Eric Ten Hag is under mounting pressure to keep his job, with his future believed to have been discussed at Tuesday's meeting between executives in London. After a terrible start to the season, United are positioned 14th in the Premier League and we've drawn our first two matches in the Europa League. No decision has been made to sack Ten Hag, but there has been multiple reports of Tuchel or Ruud van Nistelrooy succeeding the former Ajax boss at Old Trafford. While praising Tuchel's managerial acumen, Ben stressed that appointing the Champions League winner would be a mistake due to the potential misalignment between the Tactican and the club over issues of recruitment. Speaking on TalkSport Radio on Monday, Ben said, as quoted by Give Me Sport you know, that's the thing, if you're looking on paper, right? Let's take Gareth Southgate out of it and Thomas Frank, who I'm a big fan of. Thomas Tuchel's a far better manager than Eric Ten Hag. That's just facts, right? It I seems to me that the stumbling block with that is going to be, and we spoke about it before we came on the air here, about the recruitment policy. Because Thomas Tuchel is going to want to obviously have his say on who the club sign, and who he wants to work with, and the club want to go down that sporting director path, where those guys maybe identify the player. I mean, Tuchel coaches those players. So, if that's the case, if that's the route they want to go down, then Thomas Tuchel's not the man for Manchester United, because he wants to be the one who picks the players. He's quite combative. He wants things to be done his way. And if Man United don't want to do that, then there's no point in getting him in, as good as he is. He's obviously got his way of managing, and the club have got a way that they want the guy to manage, so it's not going to line up.